Hey, it's Butch with CCS. Uh, today we're going to go over how to test PRIs with a T-Bird 950. Uh, this is a newer version for the 950. There's an older version. Uh, just going to give you a brief rundown. The interface we're going to use are Bantam cables to an RJ48. Um, these cables are used to interface this side into the smart jack, this side into the equipment up here. Um, and I have a transmit and a receive. Transmit's going to go into transmit over here. Receive will go to receive over here. And if it's connected to a T1, I'm going to use a loopback. You'll actually see the signal, frame, and B8ZS light up. That means that we are connected. We're getting good signal from the T1 itself. And got pretty much the same thing as you're looping it back through all of uh, the provider's equipment. So we're going to test the T1 uh, PRI. We're going to select T1 here, and I'm actually going to move in. I'm going to kind of show you a brief rundown. You have your different views down here. You got your home, your your setup, your results, and your system. And through these, you have a scroll where you can scroll up and down. That's what these are right here, a little scroll. And you can select those, and then when you have a, a selection, you can change them right here on these uh, keys. It'll change. So I'm actually going to zoom in and uh, so we can see the screen really good. Let's see. Now we should be able to see the screen really good and uh, we're just going to go through the settings. So I'm going to go to home. That's the soft key down at the bottom I just showed you. And I see that we are set up for T1. If we weren't, I could set it up here. T1. Our task is going to be ISDM PRI. If what you're looking for is not there, there's a little more key over here. You can actually, you actually have more selections down here across the bottom. We're going to do ISDM PRI turn up. You know, I can select that. Next selection is, are we going to do a single test? 23B channels, 1D channel. I'm going to select yes. And now that's pretty much all you can do at the home section. Um, you know, if you wanted to change this to test analog or something like that, you'd have to go up and change your interface. Um, but we're going to go to the next screen, which is going to be the setup. It's going to change this light up here. You can actually see that light change by hitting the setup key. And this is going to be all the, all the different things we can change. So we have framing, ESF. That's pretty standard. Um, BERT pattern, if we're on a pattern, you know, we'll, we'll match that up with uh, whatever, whatever the customer would like to match that up with. Uh, down here under switch, we have national, that's going to be NI2. We also have Nortel as a selection, that's DMS100, and 5ESS, uh, which is the AT&T. Uh, these are your different selections. National is pretty common nowadays. Numbering plan, I'm going to select national, that's 10-digit dialing. Um, unknown would also probably work as well. Uh, that's basically going back to the switch that you're connected to and saying, hey, tell me what kind of numbering plan I should have. Uh, so we're going to select national. Line interface number, that's going to be zero. Uh, that's interface zero. That's the, the T1 we're testing. Uh, it's always going to be zero if it's just one circuit. Uh, call one, we're going to select voice. Uh, any channel, you could actually choose a specific channel if you wanted. Any channel is fine for what we're doing. Call mode, this is where you can select different programs. So you can program a number two or a number three or whatever. I'm actually going to go up and I'm going to keep program one and I've actually already got a calling number so when I call I'm actually going to call this number 866-842-4239 uh, this would call that number when you went to make a call your program one that's, that's what you can name it uh, you can also set that as the BTN of the trunk group uh, that's what will go out as your caller ID um, you could also set up call two uh, and go there so that's that's pretty much the setup for a PRI, uh, pretty basic. We're going to go to the results button down here, and this is going to be where you actually make the call. Okay, you have three, two selections down here. Actually, three. Two we're going to really worry about. One is the D channel display. Okay, if I select D channel display, this is going to tell me what's going on with the D channel. Okay, and to look over there, you're actually going to look at this screen over here. Right now. You'll see that all results are okay. The capture is active. If you have a D channel, I'm not connected to circuit, so I'm not going to have one. If you have a D channel, it's going to tell you D channel is ready in this field. 
once it's ready, you're going to be able to make calls. Uh, to get out of the D-channel capture mode, all you have to do is select exit. If I were to pull one of the plugs or something, it would actually show me some errors in that screen. That's kind of like what's going on with the T1 at the time. So I can go down here. If I'm ready to make a call, I'm going to select ISDN call control. And I have call 1 and call 2. I'm going to select call 1. And I'm going to dial call 1. This is going to be that, that program 1 that I, that I had set up. And if I have a D channel ready, it's actually going, it's going to make those calls. Uh, right now, I'm not connected to T1. It's not going to make that call. So, you know, to exit out of this, I can hit escape. Or I think I can actually hit uh, more functions. That actually bring it back. And, uh, you know, we can, we can get out of this. So that's how you test an ISD and PRI circuit. Um, give you a pre brief tour. Down here, you'll see a self-loop button. Um, make sure that that's not on. If self-loop is active, you're not going to be able to make calls because... Your T-Bird is glued back to itself. Over here, you have what's going on with the T1. Um, you can actually, you know, choose different options, which actually change the screen up here. And you can see what's going on with the T1, and that's by moving these right here. Um, over here, this is what's going on with the T1. For some reason, it gets disconnected, and you see a bunch of red lights. If you need to de reset that, all you got to do is hit History Reset. It's going to clear all the red. There you go. If you do need to refresh it, maybe try to get the D-channel sync back up, you can select restart up here, and that'll kind of restart your connection. So that is the T-Bird 950, ISDMPRIs.